Welcome to Signal and System Lecture Series. Here in this session, I'll be explaining Z transform of standard basic signal. So we have question: Find the Z transform of sequence x of n is equals to a to the power minus n u of n mi minus n minus one. So this is what one standard basic signal that is given to us, and we are dealing with to identify Z transform of this given sequence. So basically, as we know. For a calculation of Z transform, Z transform of x of n that we can identify by summation n varies from minus infinite to infinite x of n into Z to the power minus n. This is what the basic formula that we have. Now let us put this x of n in this equation. So if we put this x of n in this equation, you'll be getting. n varies from minus infinite to infinite a to the power minus n u of minus n minus 1 into z to the power minus n so basically here we have u of minus n minus 1 so obviously unit step function with minus n minus 1 uh, shifting that will change these limits so how it will change these limits let us try to understand that so we already know what is unit step function so when you see discrete unit step signal if you have been given with u of n so that discrete unit step signal that will looks like this it will start from 0 and it will goes on like this and samples will be 1 2 3 4 it will be like this now from this we can have from this we can have u of minus n so as if you have u of minus n you'll be getting sequence will be now folded version of this so it will go in this direction here there will be minus 1 here there will be minus 2 and it will go like this so this is what u of minus n and from this if you calculate u of minus n minus 1 then in u of minus n minus 1 this sequence that will shift by one element in this direction in this direction so you'll be finding here there will be element of 1 and then 0 minus 1 minus 2 so it will go in this direction like this so basically u of minus n minus 1 that is having range which is starting from minus infinity and it goes up to 1 so see this is how this will change limit of this given problem so as if we apply this changed limit over here in this problem we'll be finding now this summation it will start from minus infinite it will goes up to 1 and now you don't need to write this u of minus n minus 1 as we have already changed the limit by multiplying other elements which is 0 this will result into 0 so we don't need to write that now furthermore so we can say this is a into a to the power minus n into z to the power minus n so x of z that is this now if i further simplify this summation n varies from minus infinite to infinite az to the power minus n so this is how we can say az to the power minus n that we have sorry not minus infinite to minus infinite to 1 minus infinite to 1 now here we have minus infinite to 1 we have some basic formulas which is having limit starting from 0 to infinity so obviously we need to change this limit from 0 to infinity so if i apply reversal of limit over here so if i say it starts from 1 to infinite means i am if i am reversing this limit in that case i need to place n is equals to minus n in given function so if i place n is equals to minus n then this will this limit will changes to 1 to infinite here right now that limit is from minus infinite to 1 so if i want to reverse this limit 
in that case now n will start from 1 and it will go up to infinite if i place n is equals to minus n in this given function so let us place that so here i am doing reversal of limit by n is equals to minus n so now my limits that will get reverse from n is equals to 1 to infinite and az instead of minus n and now i need to place n so az to the power n now see this is what x of z now we have some basic ready made calculation for limit starts from 0 to infinite so here we don't have coefficient which is start which is at n is equals to 0 so if i write this in this way see summation n varies from 0 to infinite a of z then i need to subtract n is equals to 0 sample so if i subtract n is equals to 0 sample means a z to the power 0 then that is what same as this right and a z to the power 0 that is 1 so i can say this is summation n varies from 0 to infinite a z to the power n minus 1 now see basically as if you have been given with summation see this is what we need to remember from series expansion we can learn this summation n varies from 0 to infinite a to the power n then that is what 1 divided by 1 minus a this is what we should remember for solution of examples so here if summation varies from 0 to infinite a to the power n then that is what 1 by 1 minus a so as per that as per this basic calculation we can say this z transform x of z now that will be 1 divided by 1 minus a z minus 1 and if I take LCM here then you will be getting this Z transform now that is 1 minus 1 minus minus plus AZ divided by 1 minus AZ this 1 1 will get cancelled so this is AZ divided by 1 minus AZ so this is what Z transform of basic standard form so this is what Z transform of x of n and that is a to the power minus n u of minus n minus 1 right so this is what z transform of this now see sometimes you may be having some other equations which is what similar to this then process of solving example is same but answer that one can directly calculate based on this so if i give you question like see if you have x of n that is this so in that case what will be our z transform so if this is x of n in that case we can say x of z now instead of a that is having 1 by 3 so we can place a is equals to 1 by 3 in this equation so if you place a is equals to 1 by 3 now that will become 1 minus 1 by 3 into z so if you take lcm 3 from numerator and denominator 3 will get cancelled so this will be z divided by 3 minus z see this is how we can have direct calculation but the process will remain same so there could be so many ways by which we can make this calculation easier but i find this way of calculation is easy now one more thing that we need to consider here sometimes there may be more shifting right so here that other shifting that even we need to consider if it is minus n minus 2 in that case that limit will ranges from minus infinite to plus 2 see that will happen if it is minus n plus 1 in that case limit will start from minus infinity and it will go up to minus 1 see that is how limit may change and that change in limit 
that we need to apply in this calculation and at the end when you do this adjustment where we have only follow formula for n is equals to inf 0 to infinite directly we can write this but this is what applicable to summation varies from 0 to infinite for other range we need to subtract that and then make such adjustments so that we can be able to calculate that for this formula and then we can apply for basic calculation. I hope that you have understood this session. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please do give your valuable suggestions. Definitely based on it in future, I'll make videos which will be solving your queries. Thank you so much.